Welcome, Aries, to your mid-October tarot reading. This is your Mystic Witch, and we're going to do a six-card spread. I'm calling the light. I'm calling my guides. I'm calling the four elements. Earth, fire, water, and air. To give me a clear message for Aries, mid-October. Six card spread, three for the underline, three for what you're living now, and three for the outcome. Aries. One, Aries, what is coming for Aries? Two more cards for the past or the underlying energy. Two more. Spirit. What's coming? Future energies for Aries. Future energies. Spirit, give me three cards. to your other signs for clarification. What's coming for Aries? Do I need to cut? Okay, let's go. Three. Underline energy. King of Swords. I don't know if you can see it. Very mental strategy. Okay. Aries. Here we have the King of Pentacles in your past in the underlying energy. So what kind of provokes the situation that you are living now? What is behind it? We have the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So you're really holding on to some happiness, solid happiness from the past. You're holding on to it. The Four of Pentacles is holding on to something, not letting it go. 
but in the present you are feeling that being left outside in the cold feeling so maybe you're holding on to an idea of the past that you had that ten of cups that emotional fulfillment that solid grounding energy represented by the king of pentacles king of pentacles is nurturing is uh, nurturing he likes to take care and he's solid financially in between though we have like the sun which is a very positive omen and the ace of pentacle a new project something given by the universe but you have that feeling of being left out in the cold. Let's see. The chariot. Okay, because you're grieving there. And the wish fulfillment. So there's there's something that you lost in the that you lost. That you're grieving. Or that you haven't made the grieving of it yet you just feel out of the cold from it like it's it's not in your grasp anymore even if the energy of the past is to hold on tightly you're dealing right now with the energy of lack the energy of not being in the loop of not deserving or not being part of but it's being shined on like you're seeing clearly you're gonna see clearly on it and with the chariot which for me is is when you actually align your mental and your emotional your ego and your soul your inner self and your outer self because you have like the two different horses of two different colors pulling the chariot if those two are not aligned together that chariot is being broken in half so that's why we call it success so success beside the five of cups of grieving for me it's it means finally being able to move on because he's moving on he's, he's going out there being able to move on about a pain something that you lost in the past that you were left out of the cold even if it was something very for you solid and emotionally fulfilling and that is gonna bring you a wish it's gonna bring you being able to do that grieving with the energy of the chariot where you realign yourself the thing is enlightened it's gonna bring you a wish that's the nine of cups look how satisfied that guy is that's something that we hold dear that comes to fruition let's clarify some cards I'm gonna clarify the five of pentacles because that's right in the center of your reading because it's like if you had a new project it's very sunny and everything so why would you new project new prospect new a seed you know a beginning a new beginning you're having that now but you're still feeling that feeling that you're dragging all the way to the future there with your grieving like you're not letting go so let's let's look at the five of pentacles let's look at the five of pentacles Seven of Swords. You feel like it was taken from you. Like it was stolen from you. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. What's that new seed? That new project that the universe is, is sending you. new prospect ace of pentacles clarify the ace of pentacles for me the 
Maybe you were dealing with an air sign. Ace of Pentacles. What's that Ace of Pentacles? Oh, there it is. Page of Swords. It's a communication. A new idea. The sun. Tell me about the sun. We have the Five of Swords. It's like if... What was illuminated? Because the sun brings illumination on things. Like what was under the moon, the sun clears it out. Also a Leo. Can be a Leo uh, character. But there we have like the Five of Swords and the Five of Swords. Uh, the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. So you f really felt screwed. Screwed by a Leo or screwed by life itself. And you see it clearly now. Like maybe... That's the information you're getting. You see, you really see it clearly, like that feeling of being left out or kicked out or, or whatever was really uh, provoked by a situation that you, f you feel was really unfair to you. Clarify the Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Like that Ten of Cups was taken away from you. Clarify the Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Or maybe you did that. Either you did it or somebody else did that to you. got your way, you know, did what you thought you had to do to win, that caused you being left out in the cold and losing that ten, that ten of cups. Here with the five of uh, cups, with that grieving sensation, we have the wheel of fortune. So when you're going to really face what you have lost and really align your two sides with yourself, things are going to turn around. Things are really going to turn around. So it's no time to be in denial. Like Often people like the five of cups are going to say, oh, get out of that energy. You've got two cups in the back. Go for it. But you have to acknowledge that energy. That's a needed energy. To really look at what happened. What happened? What exactly did I lose? What was their part? What was my part? And taking responsibility for it. That's grieving. Nah, not when you, you lose someone like by death or anything. That's like grieving in the sense of putting um, putting to the ground all those emotions we have but you have to do that too because if you hang on to just looking at what you have and you stay there of course the wheel of fortune is not going to move but if you do the whole process of and you have to do some forgiveness in the grieving also we have to forgive that 
the things we did, we didn't do, and what the other did and the other didn't do, there's forgiveness to, uh, that has to come. Forgive the universe also when we lose someone physically, like if death was there. Sometimes we have to forgive the universe and be able to go back all the way to gratitude for having lived the beautiful Ten of Cups that we had in the past. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But by doing that, it's inner work. By doing that, and you have the sun to eliminate all of that, there's the Wheel of Fortune. That's when the events are going to change. The Chariot. Clarify the Chariot for the Aries. Oh, oh. Mm, that's a lot. So we have the Two of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So there's a celebration there. There's a meeting of someone. This success, there's a meeting of two souls. Something that you've been patiently waiting for, that you invested. And that work here is something we invest in. Maybe you're going to meet a Cancer. I'm just going to clarify the Nine of Cups. That's that wish. That's wish that's coming. Patience and celebration. What is the wish fulfillment here? What is the wish fulfillment? This is uh, for the whoa last part of October, so it's two weeks. But it can talk about something that's been going on for longer too. It's what you need to hear now. You need to solve that. Ah, okay. Here we go. Healing and the battler. Feeling back in your power. And see, letting go. Letting go of what you've invested in, all those emotions. Now with the wish, We have the Magician and we have Temperance. I don't know if you can see with the reflection. So that what that tells me is that, that what is going to bring you that for wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment is just not just like, yeah, I've always wanted this and I got it. It's that feeling of contentment. It's going to come, things are going to come because you will be healing you will take that energy provoked by all those swords there five and seven that made you that's making you feel like this like out in the cold missing that you have lost and missed out on what was in the past beautiful that you've been holding on to you're gonna heal from that and that's gonna give you back your power your power to create your new life to create whatever you want that's the number one the beginning of a new cycle that's the turning of the cycle after doing that grieving actually letting go truly letting go of whatever happened there you're gonna connect with somebody there we have the two of cups and the two of cups can be also that you what what's gonna give you that alignment that inner enlightenment to, 
in, in alignment, sorry, that inner in alignment that can propel you to success there, it can be by exchanging and actually talking with someone. Because there you have the calysis, you know? That's a healing energy also. You know, when you talk with somebody and they actually put light on things that you're living and you get out of that conversation where you feel lighter, you feel like you understand something. You're healing. They change your energy. Because there's joyfulness. Maybe that was a the Three of Cups. It could have been like a three-party situation, but I don't see it. And patience. Actually observing what you've planted and what's going to come out of it. But there's going to bring you that joy that's going to realign you to be able to say goodbye to those cups that fell, change your energy, heal, and start again. Start again. The five of the five and the seven of cups. It can all often be like, yes, it's the robber, the guy that steals in the middle of the night, and all of that. It's events that we we feel we lost or that we won but everybody was sad around us and that's why they're leaving see they're disappointed and they're leaving because this guy won he's happy but the others are sad and leaving him leaving him out in the cold but with the sun beside it, if it's not with the Leo that you were, it's something that the light shed on it is for your growth. Anyway, anyway, all the experiences that we're living are for our own growth. But you're going to let go of that. That thought and and often the four of pentacles we're holding on to like dear life to something and the energy needs to flow but you're holding you know you were holding on to happy times solid times which makes you see that everything that you're having now is not that so you're all holding on to it and maybe you're cheating yourself also, by doing that, you're cheating yourself. Maybe you're not cheated, but you're cheating yourself, putting yourself in that energy of the Five of Pentacles. But the universe is, is giving you a new opportunity. Communication. new opportunity that's going to bring light and joy. Enthusiast. That's the light. Leo is into enthusiast. You know, if you have a project and don't know if you should do it, you ask a Leo and it's going to, yeah, yeah, go for it. It may be a new relationship because of the Two of Cups there that's going to give you back that, that drive to go for your goals, change your energy and give you healing and victory. So that's your reading, Aries. For mid-October till the uh, end of the month. I'll see you for November. In the meantime you can like, share, comment and thank you for being here. Goodbye.